Okay, this is full spectrum with no filter on it at all. I really wanted this to be properly IR converted, but let me say they actually did not have the um, replacement filters for the P900. So I've got some external ones, but like I said, this is full spectrum. That car is actually red, makes it look kind of more pink. Now this is you have to do a custom white balance. Uh, now if you leave it on auto white balance, you're going to get this pink look everywhere. So, and this I have my dial turned to the P mode on the camera. You can see this is auto white balance. You really don't want to film with auto white balance. This is full spectrum. I will stop this and then change my white balance back to. Well, I took a picture of. Uh, you can meter it on something green and it'll fix it. Alright, I just pointed it at the grass to do a custom white balance. Just point it down at the green grass or something green and hit measure and it will change it to this. Okay. Looks pretty cool. There's some neat colors and stuff. <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to screw on a 720 nanometer filter. Which is um, this one here. This is what you get with a 720. Now this is with the same custom white balance I used without a filter. Still get some, a little bit of color in it. Um, I think I'm going to stop this and redo the white balance with the filter on and see if there's a difference. Okay, this is when I redid the white balance with this filter on. It doesn't look a whole lot different. I've seen uh, some people say that the autofocus doesn't work right when they try to do this, do this yourself. You know, take the camera apart and just take the IR cut filter out. But this company I sent it to recalibrated the lens so that it would still autofocus. And it is doing a very good job. Pretty good job of autofocusing still. Okay, switch this to the. Here I redid the white balance. It's still. You'll get mostly black and white. It's just getting kind of dark out here, so it's a very dark filter. Hard to see through, but it does take video fairly well. Let's see if it focuses on those tree. Focus is not great, but it seems to work pretty good. Um, Just a little uh, preliminary test on how these are going to work. Some clouds up there. The sun is setting. See what the clouds look like back there with the sunset. I thought it looked pretty neat. So this is the 950 nanometer filter. And then we'll take this back off. And it's back to full spectrum. Let's 
So, if you're thinking about getting this done, um, I think it's worth it. I think it's really neat looking. Now, you can play around with the um, white balance and get different tones and colors out of all this. Um, so got a lot more coming up with this. Let's see, this really does. It does focus pretty good. Alright, that's just a quick rundown of how the camera works now since it's been uh, converted to full spectrum. All right, this is how you're going to do your um, your um, custom white balance. You have your camera set on the P setting. As you can see here. Okay, and then. to go to the menu okay see how this is on white balance hit OK and then you'll go to the preset it's got several settings in here and watch it change you can find different colors choose color temperature but you're gonna do the preset manual. And see, I'm gonna point it down at the grass. And I'm gonna hit measure. And that is going to set your white balance. And then this is what it's gonna look like. You're gonna actually be able to see the color and see this is a uh, full spectrum with no filter on it at all I would you know every time I change the filter I will redo that white balance and you know point at something green such as the grass to um, do the white balance and that is pretty simple that's uh, how you do it just a quick little tutorial if you've had your camera converted way to get the best views out of it. Alright, that's all we got for this one. Thanks.